This is the Game Creator 1 demo. First things first, we need to select the modules we have installed and want to use. Now this will alter some of the prefabs. Not all of these are used as of yet. Um, right now it's mainly just melee and inventory. So I'm going to select both and what will happen? Um, yes, we confirm the selection and then we can choose the camera view. So for once I'll do top down. It's something that I don't really use that much. And the prefabs in the demo scene are actually replaced with some of the ones that support uh, inventory and uh, melee. So we have all of the basic interactions and there's plenty of them that don't need melee or inventory at all. Um, however, for some of them, melee is used for root motion support and inventory is used so you can actually easily um, add items to your inventory. So yeah, we uh, we have some interactions here. Now this is one of the ones where uh, melee is actually used for root motion, because um, as you might be aware, Game Creator 1 doesn't have root motion in gestures by default. So we have door interactions, we can uh, sit down, really simple. Um, we can also uh, loot, and this will then add something to our inventory. Um, we can perform a takedown. We can use emotes. And this is just a tooltip. Um, you have always access to uh, the emote duo as long as the prefab is in your scene. And you know, we can uh, yeah, we can use some emotes. So yeah, pretty cool. Now there is a couple of more interesting ones like uh, chopping wood, which basically become um, you know type of manual operation. Every time we hit, um, we add uh, well an item to our inventory, and I wanted to make sure that you could use this asset even if you already have a game project set up, so it won't overwrite any uh, inventory files or any global variables. Um, it uses none of these so by default I'm just using the defaults and that's it now one of the nice things with the prefab is you can you have a local variable on it where you can select how many hits it takes before um, it's depleted um, if you increase this to 10 you will be able to chop 10 times and add 10 items to your inventory um, mining works exactly the same no difference and then we have something like this where we can uh, simply push in uh, an object out of the way for some platforming or puzzle uh, mechanics for example this as well uses the melee module actually for root motion support um, and obviously we have plenty more but one of the ones I wanted to show um, is actually fishing um, which I think is pretty cool it's a small mini game um, so it will randomize uh, loot completely and once the notification pops up to press F um, you have to uh, you have two seconds basically to press it. Um, otherwise, you go back um, into the default. So pressing it won't do anything. And then if you press on time, um, he'll start reeling in um, because we caught something and uh, drag it in. And this is randomized. So basically, it uses list variables to randomly add loot, um, but not just loot. Also, the wait times in order for how long it takes to actually be able to catch something is randomized as well. Um, which is pretty cool, so it's uh, it's a bit less predictable. You can simply select one of these prefabs and just drop them into your scene. Replace meshes, um, replace animations, of course, if you have better ones. Uh, the whole goal here is to have a bunch of prefabs that do not rely on global variables, on um, anything like that, and they don't rely on anything else in the scene. So really easy to modify, really easy to use. And here we have the exact same scene made with Game Creator 2. Now you will notice that there are less modules available for selection, that's simply because they haven't been released yet. One of the nice things though is that we do have less dependencies. So Game Creator 1 required melee for root motion, and one of the nice things here is that Game Creator 2 does not require that. So we have the same root motion support without the need of a melee module. So really cool stuff, and other than that, it's the same functionality as what you can expect in Game Creator 1 scene. 
So really good stuff, just completely remade from the ground up for Game Creator to support.